everybody. Welcome to another video. Uh, this is part three um, of the rebuild for the Dodge Neon. And what I'm doing today, one second. Sorry about that, but my my daughter decided to pull down on the gate. Uh, yeah, no, don't mess with the gate. Leave it alone. Thank you. But anyways, um, what I'm doing right now is trying to find the... Oh, perfect. Is I'm installing battery terminals. And I got, uh, I got a specific kind um, for the reason I need the extension go get this bad boy in there and uh, what do I got here is um, is a little extra like on both here this is going to be for when I install the emergency lights um, that way I have a actual connection but uh, these two wires right here um, as you can see uh, one is a ground then the other goes down is the power to the starter then we have our power to the fuse box and we have our ground to the fuse box Basically, right now, I'm just... <sighs> trying to straighten these out and get as much as the... debris that's in it out. Okay. Now for the positive. And any like pieces of copper wire that's broken off, get those out. Okay, that side, that's ready. That one. Oh. I'll just give him a little twist. All right, so I don't confuse myself. I'm gonna go with the uh, negative first. That's in there good. Let's get this protectant cover slid over. If you're wondering, I got these at Advance Auto. Okay, now for the starter. This one needs to back out a little more. 
tail. Oh, that's coming all the way off. Okay. Get that bad boy in there. Slot this bad boy in there. Oh yeah, I'm getting them cranked in there. That's why I'm using the power drill. I do not want, I want them to have a really good connection, which it does. Okay, there's that one. And this is the same style uh, end that was on the car uh, when I bought it. I think that's the factory style. Whew. Let me check on my daughter real quick. She's throwing her toys over the porch trying to get my attention. Okay. So. Since this is. Yeah, this is the bigger one. I'm going to put the starter feed in this one. Just realized you don't need to back this one off because this one's actually holding this one in. Twist that little mark. Okay. Get this to go in. I'm gonna twist this. Okay. All right. Now let's tighten this down. I'm gonna tighten this one down too. Okay. All right. Slide it down. Now, I did label this one positive, and also the reason I use this one, because it has the red. Um, that way I know, oh, gotta twist this good. That way I definitely know. Uh, uh, push that in there. All right, I'll be right back, fellas, because I need to go get um, my uh, wire pincher so I can get that pinched. I'm gonna grab the battery. Um, hopefully the battery has juice in it. I'll find out when I get the key um, and then go from there. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Key, battery, got my tool. <laughs> this is a nifty little tool. I'll show it to you here in a second. I need to get something to drink. Oh, I guess it wasn't done fizzing. <coughs> I ain't had no Corona. Man, I shouldn't be coughing. I ain't had no Corona. I ain't had no Corona in months. How many little doctor could fix that Corona? Oh. Okay. Now this is a nifty little tool. Hammer. A uh, pair of little, yeah, <laughs> my brain's not working. Uh, got some pliers, file, little saw, knife. I wanted the pliers. Oh, and then up here at the top, let me... I can turn it also into a screwdriver. <laughs> I've never used that part. As you can tell, stuff looks practically brand new. 
but it also has a belt loop on it so if i want to put it on my belt but no i will need this part to tighten that down okay so good Now this battery is a little bit bigger than what normally goes in here. Um, so. Actually, let's go underneath the handle. Oh no, the bolt and stuff for the positive fell off. Well, here, let's get this. Oh. Let me look under the car. Huh. Yeah, it's not on the ground, so that makes me wonder if it wasn't even on there in the get-go. Well, let's see if that's good enough connection. If not, I'll have to get a pair of vice grips and clamp that. That's not on. Nope. That battery is dead. So I, or maybe the connections ain't tight. So I'll be back. I'm going to work on getting the connections done and I'll be back. I had to run the, the charger. Just so, you know, people drive by really don't notice it. Just in case I leave, you know, I can have it charging. But got the battery hooked up. Shown maybe about one amperage. Um, yeah, so that battery is dead. So I have it on a 10 amp uh, charge, which is basically just trickling. Uh, and I'll check it back here in an hour or two. And if it, you know, starts to get a charge, I might take it to AutoZone so I can get a little bit faster charge. But I'll check back here in a bit and then we'll make sure the terminals are working and oh let me guys show you all this oh oh boy she's getting her toys everywhere what you got oh my elect my electronics for my speaker and the wires boom Finally got it here. Next is the transmission. Oh, yeah. Kids. Got the bunnies over there chilling in the sun. It's actually pretty nice for a December day. But, uh, yeah, that battery's dead because that, that, oh, I didn't even got the battery hooked up. That's right. Duh. But yeah, um, but while it's doing that, go ahead and got the uh, laptop thing to hook up over here. Got these. I'm going to install these. Some people think it's funny, but these are going to be um, right here, directional. And then I'll get lights for the front and the rear like what's on my Impala um, 
But other than that, let's go ahead and let that charge and then we'll get back to see if the battery actually works. All right, let me turn this camera around. Okay, y'all, new day. Um, really? I had this battery all nice and looking good. Oh, maybe I can get that off. Oh, well. Anyways, I had to go take this battery. I took it to Advance Auto. Um, and they tested it. It was dead. My trickle charger only got to where it was pumping out 6.7 volts, which wasn't enough. Um, and in the process, I did find the bolt and everything. So that's good. Add on there. Oh, yeah. We have power. Now I will be hooking my trickle charger up to this when I'm like using the battery using it. That way it can keep a charge in it. But let's go, let's go inside. That door's unlocked, okay. Let's find out. Yep. Uh, Odometer's on. Now let me turn this around. Because the odometer's on. Oh, the key's actually in the ignition. <laughs> that comes on. That's good. Radio works. CD player don't, though. I'm going to have to pull this this right here because I just realized one of the doors uh, come on one handed there we go that way don't drain the battery but so now I got a live battery in there that will keep the uh computer powered up you know power going to the computer whatnot which is good because uh, it's going to be getting cold and all right well let's head inside the, the home because that's where the next part is Well, if I had a woman living with me, you definitely know there wouldn't be a, uh... Oh, daughter's clothes. Bad dog. Chewed up my Navy flag. Yeah, I was kind of upset with that. But this bad boy. Now, since I know the power works in the neon, now this is the next step. Freeze plugs. I got some ordered. Um, they should be here tomorrow. Um, I'm not for sure if there's freeze plugs on this side. Get a light. Yep, there's a freeze plug there. That one over there actually looks good, but this one looks like it's been leaking. I got four of them. So that's going to be the next video um, is changing all the freeze, freeze, freeze plugs. 88 cents a piece at Advance or $4 a piece at uh, the dealership. Same exact part. Um, no difference. Couldn't get brass for it. I really would have preferred brass over steel because brass does last a lot longer um, than the steel does, because as you can see, steel eventually rusts out, and this one actually has a pinhole in it. Um, yeah. So. Oh. Now it looks like that had been leaking for a while. 
Oh. Manifold gasket's still on there. Not now. <laughs> hey, while we're at it, let's peek inside the exhaust ports. See if we can see the valves. Yeah, that valve looks nice and straight. That valve looks nice and straight. That valve looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. Now I gotta do is get the intake off the front and get a peek inside that way without having to pull the uh, head up. And then, and then the next thing what I'll do is I'll probably have the camera. And if I can get my buddy over here, I'll use the camera to, you know, pan in each end as he's turning the uh, engine over and might be able to. Oh, let's see. No, I can't really see inside there. I went and got this off a of PT Cruiser, a GT, which has Mopar uh, plugs on it. Yeah, there's a lot of oil in there because uh, these metal spark plug tubes had worked up. They were literally, a couple of them were actually sticking up out of the valve cover and then somewhere like up flush but you can you can tell the valve the valve the seals right here are pretty shot as you can see all that oil build up and then a couple of these you can see there's oil there so these little garments are trash definitely going to use my heater core uh hose hose thing because uh it's pretty rusted i bet you they've put some kind of uh sealant in there by the looks of that that looks like they might have used fix leak try to fix these leaks but when these get start leaking ain't no fix a leak gonna fix that all right y'all thanks for watching and look out for part four which will uh part four will start on the engine